Canola this morning. Just doing the headland pass. But my GPS is going backwards. So I'm unable to make an AB line. So I have to, once I've done my headland, I have to restart this whole thing. And hopefully it boots up properly. But other than that, it's going not too bad. Usually on my headlands, on the second headland pass, it'll just follow the first one. And since it's going backwards, the orientation is backwards, this little icon here is red and it won't engage that line. So I need to shut it all off and let it boot up again and try that. I'm not sure how, I don't think you can flip it in the job. This loses the GPS. Now I can power this back on. And hopefully that works. If not, I'm gonna have to shut the whole tractor down. Shut off the battery disconnect. Let it actually go through the entire cycle and try again. But I'm really hoping I don't have to do that because that's not that fun. a new job, start fresh, see how that works. Same field name, number three. That's the little flip icon you need that I didn't have. So on the orientation, <coughs> excuse me, yeah, see the orientation's backwards there, and then you hit the middle, and then it'll flip it. There, now we're going forwards, and it knows we're going forwards, so we are, so we are doing better. Okay, let's go. There we go. Now it's going to grab a line. We got two tanks of urea. We got one tank of the Foss sulfur blend and then canola in the saddle tank on the side. I have lots of canola for the day probably and probably a fertilizer fill here within the next couple hours. We do about 200 acres per tank and the canola is going on at 4.2 pounds per acre. This is the small seed size seed size A of the bigger varieties. We use all of our size C sizes. See that 5.2 pounds. This is the small guy seated at 4.2 pounds per acre. I'm getting some passengers. Hey buddy. Nice shirt. Let's see. No, I want to see what name you got. Oh, yeah. We gotta check the depth. Huh? Yeah. Oh. Right here. We gotta check the depth. Let's check. Hey. Good job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think nice. it's pretty good too. Yeah. Yeah, that's really good. Connor, can you say hi? Hi. This is Connor, our nephew. He is a uh, farm kid for the weekend. Did you, yeah. have a, did you have a big sleep last night? Yeah. yeah. We, were, we were spraying last night and uh, fell asleep on us. He made about four, made about four passes and he was out. better than spraying? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. You wanna, you wanna drive? Yeah? Yeah, yeah pretty soon. Okay, let's go. We're driving. 
Who's winning the game tonight? Oilers? Yeah. Yeah. They better. Yeah. Are we seating deep enough? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Give me a high five. Yeah, go Oilers. Okay, bye. 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 Taylor's actually going to game six tonight in Edmonton. It'll be long over by the time you see this, but she's pretty excited. As for me, I'm checking depth. We're seating about three quarters of an inch. There's a guy there. It's dry. If we had a little shower, it'll all come up. Where'd that guy go? Right there. Three quarters to an inch, maybe? It's a bad sign when this early in the year, you're getting already plus 30 days. We're having a stretch this weekend. Plus 30 for three days is May 14th. You get those early plus 30 days in the year, it doesn't look good for moisture for the rest of the year. It's hot, the wind has shifted around. We had these east winds that didn't kick up any moisture, and now we're getting west, northwest winds, and all this smoke from the northern Saskatchewan, northern Alberta forest fires are blowing in. It's hot, it's dry. Ran for rain. I'm empty. Not much nitrogen left in that guy. The alarm hasn't come on yet, but it'll be any second. Let's see how much is left. Didn't look like much. It's almost empty. Oh yeah, it's still flowing a little bit. Maybe we have like three acres left. My dad should be coming with the truck in two minutes. Once I got here. This tank is so dirty. Jeez. We have one field treasure on a shank. like a buckle of some sort off a harness or something like that. Pretty cool. It's hot out here. With the sectional control on this drill, this is an eight port drill, so there's eight different ports for seed and fertilizer, and each port has a gate. So here, we're seated on an angle again. And as I come more into the unseated portion of the field, these gates are gonna open and close. So when these gates open and close, the shaft speed on the tank is gonna change. So if you need more gates open, more of an unseated area, shaft speed is gonna increase. And as you close down into a triangle, less seated area, those gates or those shaft speeds are going to decrease. Literally the only slew on this field. A little bit of water standing can seed right through. Well that was fun. I'm empty again. Well not quite but we gotta fill here anyways because I'm gonna do it on this tank. Finding a flat space makes loading a lot easier. If that tank is leading one way or the other, it can actually make a big difference on how that swing auger or the conveyor sits and where the truck has to be. I can start my clutch from the cab to check the runs. Turn my lift master off. 
manual speed on. And also to aid in loading is our pylon guide on a string so you know where the truck can be. So it's hot and it's getting hotter. But I'm taking my shoes off. I put on my air conditioned seat. There we go. If it's going to get to 31 degrees on Tuesday, I think we might shut the drill down for the afternoon. It just doesn't feel right seating canola when it's that hot out. We'll probably be parked in the yard, crawling underneath the drill, checking packer bearings instead. It's way better. Let's check out all the dirt that flies off the drill when you fold up. Jeez. Usually you get a shower or something that washes everything off but nothing yet. Here it is Jack, dangerously but he succeeded and now it's Kulak on the attack. Pass over to McDavid, he shoots, he scores! 